watching WGAL News 8. Your time is 645 and it's time now for WGAL News 8 to go. It's all the news, weather and traffic you need to start your day. And we begin with a look outside our sky cams where a winter storm is bearing down on the Susquehanna Valley. That's why today is an alert day. News 8 meteorologist Ethan Houston is here with the forecast. Hey, Ethan. Good morning. Yeah, those sky cams really tell the story. We're talking about wintry weather, but if you look at the sky cam, it looks like rain, but with temperatures at or below freezing, that is freezing rain, freezing on contact, creating a glaze of ice across a large portion of the Susquehanna Valley. That is why the Weather Service has placed the majority of the valley under a winter weather advisory. That's until 7 p.m., but if you're watching us in Mifflin and Juniata County, we have a winter storm warning for you until 7 a.m. tomorrow because our northern counties could see some snow develop early this afternoon and that will continue on into the evening hours. Taking a live look right now over Carlisle. You can see the roadways are wet. Temperatures right now in Carlisle at 33, but across the valley and other areas were sitting at or below freezing. That is the case along the roadways. You can see most of our roadways are below freezing at this hour, so the rain is falling and freezing on contact with the ground. Super Doppler 8 is picking up on that. The pink that you see here is the freezing rain that is fairly widespread, but you can see up at elevation up into Center County and into Mifflin County, a little bit of some snow trying to mix in. This wedge of colder air extends back over western Pennsylvania. If you have family over in Johnstown and over in Somerset, this is going to be a crippling ice storm. But for us, eventually this warmer air starts moving on in as the center of that storm is off to our south, heads towards the east coast. So through the day today, we've got the rain and the freezing rain right now. It will become rain as temperatures rise, but areas north of the turnpike could see prolonged snow. Rainfall will be heavy. Temperatures will climb to near 40 degrees later today. Overnight tonight, look for widespread light rain and drizzle, but with temperatures in the mid to upper 30s, not looking for any impacts. And then for tomorrow, may see a lingering light rain or snow shower early, but then we'll start to see some drier air moving in. We'll get some peaks of sunshine later in the day. Highs tomorrow in the lower 40s. Wind gusts through the day today and also tomorrow could be uh, breezy, but with wind gusts possibly upwards of 30 to near 40 miles per hour. And with the tree limbs weighed down with some ice accumulation, there could be some sporadic power outages. Here's a look at the current winds right now. Relatively light, but notice the direction coming in from the east. That's keeping that wedge of colder air near the surface. So we have warmer air up near the cloud level, but this thin little layer of colder air near the surface, and that's why we've got that freezing rain. You can see that extends down towards Hagerstown, but milder air is off to our west and it's eventually going to win out as we head through this afternoon. So let's take you hour by hour here on the predictor. You've got that rain snow line that is off down to our south. Eventually it's going to continue to lift to the north. So around 10 o'clock along the turnpike and points to the south, we're dealing with plain rain. But areas north of the turnpike will continue to see that freezing rain and sleep. But as the storm picks up and the rain picks up, colder air gets pulled down from the clouds and our northern counties will see steady snow. But for much of the Susquehanna Valley, it will be plain rain towards the evening commute. This rain snow line will continue to advance to the north by midnight. Much of the valley is just going to see plain rain with temperatures in the 30s. Then the storm starts to pull away early Friday morning and drier air starts to move on in. In terms of snowfall. If you're looking for it to accumulate, you got to head off to our north with the exception of our northern counties looking for perhaps a little bit of some slush one to two inches closer towards Harrisburg. A lot of this will wash away with the incoming afternoon evening rain, but up towards Lewistown Seals Grove, two to five inches of snow. I am more concerned about the glaze of ice. Glaze of ice possible to a tenth inch of rain. Some areas could pick up two tenths of an inch of rain along South Mountain and Blue Mountain or Western counties. So stay on alert. Roads are dicey out there this morning. Our weather will improve as we head through tomorrow. Could see some flurries flying on Saturday. Drier weather, chillier weather for Sunday into early parts of next week.